uh, problem to 12.3, we have here a sample of 0.2356, which is composed of sodium chloride and biochloride. So meaning the sample is a mixture of sodium chloride and barium chloride. Now, a precipitant is added to the sample and it produces a precipitate which is sulfur chloride. So sulfur chloride, the precipitate is being dried and it was found out that it has a mass of 0.4637. Now, the problem, we are going to determine the percent barium chloride and the percent uh, sodium chloride from the sample. So if you are going to solve for the percentage of barium chloride, so we must be able to determine the amount of the barium chloride in the sample divided by the mass of the sample. Take note that the mass of the sample, which is 0.2356, is composed of barium chloride and sodium chloride. So to determine the percent uh, barium chloride, so we must be able to compute for the amount of barium chloride in the sample as well as the amount of sodium chloride in the sample to determine the percentage of sodium chloride. Now since we do not know the amount of barium chloride and sodium chloride in the sample, so we are going to let x for the unknown. So we'll do algebra in this problem. So we are going to let x as the amount of barium chloride in grams that is in the sample or found in the sample and we let y as the amount of sodium chloride found in the sample. So if you are going to add the two, x and y, that would be equal to the sum of the sample which is 0.2356. Or if you are going to solve one unknown in terms of the other, algebra so 0.2356 minus x. So you have here another equation. So y, which is the mass of the sodium chloride, will be equal to 0.2356 minus x. Or you can do the other way. We can have uh, x is equal to 0.2356 minus y. It's either. Now, since the sulfur chloride, the precipitate, is precipitated from barium chloride and bar, uh, sodium chloride. So we will have the chemical reaction between the barium chloride and the precipitant, which is sulfur nitrate. Now, in the problem, the precipitant actually is not being stated, so we just uh, assume that it is sulfur nitrate because it will yield sulfur chloride. So, you have barium chloride plus sulfur nitrate. You have the product sulfur chloride and barium nitrate. We know that this is the precipitate because barium nitrate is soluble in water. All nitrate are soluble. So you balance the equation. So we have here one mole of barium chloride, two moles of sulfur chloride. Now just in case you have no chemical reaction between the barium chloride to yield sulfur chloride, to get the to get the relationship between the two, you will just look at the formula. You have here barium chloride, you have two atoms of chlorine. If you have sulfur chloride, so there is only one atom of chlorine in sulfur chloride. So in order to balance them, there must be two moles of sulfur chloride. Okay. So the amount now of sulfur chloride, which is precipitated from barium chloride, will be equal to from the mass of barium chloride, which is unknown, X. You get the number of moles using the molar mass of barium chloride. You can cancel out grams barium chloride. Then convert it to moles of sulfur chloride using the, the stoichiometric relationship between barium chloride and sulfur chloride. So you have cancel out uh, moles of barium chloride. So what remains is the moles of sulfur chloride. Since we have to get the number of grams, so make use of the molar mass of sulfur chloride. Compute everything, then you will arrive at 1.3766, take note X, because you still have X here for barium chloride. So, 
the amount of sulfur chloride which is precipitated from barium chloride is 1.3766x. Okay, so this one is the precipitate derived from barium chloride. So the other component of the sample is the sodium chloride. So reacted with the precipitate to produce sulfur chloride as the precipitate. So you balance the equation, you will notice that it's all one. So the ratio between sodium chloride and sulfur chloride is one is to one. So same with this one. So the amount of the precipitate, which is sulfur chloride, precipitated from sodium chloride. So the amount of sodium chloride is unknown. That is why then you get the number of moles of sodium chloride. Then you change it to moles sulfur chloride. Then get the mass of sulfur chloride. Do the uh, make use of the molar mass. So therefore. The amount of sulfur chloride which is precipitated from sodium chloride is 2.4524Y. Okay? Y, that is the grams of sodium chloride. So if you are going to add this one and this one, so this is the precipitate sulfur chloride precipitated from barium chloride, and this one is the amount of sulfur chloride precipitated from sodium chloride. So if you are going to add the two, this is now the equation, 1.3766x plus this one, 2.4524y, is equal to the amount of the precipitate, which is uh, 0.4637. Then you do algebra. Okay? So, from this equation, you have x, y. Two unknowns. So you are going to substitute the value of y here in terms of x, which is derived from our first equation. Here, y is equal to 0.2356 minus x. So you do algebra now, then solve for x. x then is equal to 0 0.10606 grams of barium chloride. So this is now the amount of barium chloride that is found in the sample. So if you are going to determine the amount of sodium chloride, and we let Y as the grams of sodium chloride, you can solve Y, that is the amount of sodium chloride, and you substitute the value of X, which is the amount of barium, barium chloride. So from that equation, you would be able to solve that the value of Y, which is the amount of sodium chloride in grams, is 0 0.1, 24, 0 0.12954 grams. So if you are going to compute for the percent amount of barium chloride, so this one should be the grams of barium chloride, which is this one, 1 1.0606 divided by the sample amount. 0.2356 times 100. So barium chloride is 45%. Round it off. And of course, sodium chloride. You have here the amount of sodium chloride, which is 0.12954 divided by the sample. So you will get the percent sodium chloride, which is 54.98, or approximately equal to 55. If you are sure that this is correct, you can just actually subtract 100 minus this one and you will arrive this value. Okay, so this is problem 12.3 wherein the sample is a mixture of different compounds or substances. And that's all for problem 12.3.